Hey man, how you doing? I'm doing well, what's up? Yeah, how you been? I've been really well, I've been really well. Dude, I don't think I've seen you since we did the trip that I'm calling you to talk about. Uh, it's been over a year since we did it. Yeah. And, yeah, I've been thinking back on it a lot. So I thought I would just call everybody, you and, uh, and Chaz and Sammy, and just see like what it all meant and how to piece something together. Coming and joining you out on the road, it was like, okay, this is perfect. For me, doing stuff like, say, like a transcontinental race, um, mm -hmm. it, was, it was very therapeutic in a lot of ways, and it, it kind of helped me work through a lot of my own things in my brain. It's like a catharsis. It's like it's like a purge. Like it's like it's almost like shedding a skin. Like I'll just cry. I'll cry for like ten miles about nothing. I don't really know what it is in particular about like pushing your body. And today we had to do 66 miles, um, and we had about five hours to, to get here. It gives you this kind of like, I don't know, mental peace. But it does. So we're on the road. Just the little sign back there. We nearly missed the turn actually. It's one turn on this entire road. We nearly just missed it. 567 k's to the Labrador border. I understand exactly what, what you're talking about. For a lot of us, um, you know, there's a lot of just information rattling around in our brains and mm. being able to experience something as uncomplicated as like just just go ride your bike and and then get there. This is the pure form. Like this is pure. Between the early here, My belief of what of what sport should be is something that makes the world a better place. Yeah, that's exactly. I gotta watch my Sport and become such a you know a commodity and we're, we're such a results based culture. It's crazy to think we've been on the road for two weeks and there's only three days left. But and I just think we need to change the way we look at sport because like those are the the parts of the sport that I've gotten the least from. Everything else that I've, I've yeah I've gotten all these really you know important experiences from. there any moments from that Translab trip that you got something from or that stick out in your mind? There were definitely a few. One of the ones that I think of often, we pulled over to, to have one of our little campfire coffee sando breaks. Not far from that town, Gagnon, is like abandoned city. You know, we saw like nobody out there. We only saw like some Subaru patch guys. 
it turned around, but it was just this guy who was stopping to see if we were like, okay, if we needed anything. And then we got to talking to him. And he was from Gagnon, and he like lived there. To be honest, I don't even remember why that town doesn't exist anymore. I just remember that it doesn't. You're from the middle of nowhere, and then all of a sudden, your home is gone. I don't, I don't know what those things mean, but they just, they made such a huge impact on me. Like, I'll never forget those moments. It's funny, these trips, I feel like there's always moments like that. The, these events, they're about, like, the visceral experience. And, and I think that's, like, such a refreshing approach to competition. Dude, thank you so much. It's nice to like touch base a year later and be like, fuck, we've come to the same realization. And and maybe finally use what we learned from our experiences over the years of riding a bike. We're now ready to articulate it. It definitely warms my soul to be able to have this conversation with you. All right, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, cool, enjoy the Take rest care. of the evening. Get some rest. I'll send yeah. you some photos from Arizona. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Have fun. Bro. Take care of yourself, man. I'll talk yeah. to you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.